Okay, so here we are looking at a 52 inch polished brass Casablanca Delta II ceiling fan. Shown here with rosewood cane blades, which is quite rare in itself. It has a new flywheel. This fan from 1989 has a it had that stupid flywheel issue thing from 1989 or flywheel disease or whatever you want to call it. it uses an Emerson K55 motor and the new flywheel I put on it has four to five blade adaptable and so is the old one. It has a K4S here with the I'm not sure what you call that glass, Victorian style glass or whatever you want to call it. This fan came from Facebook Marketplace of Rockville, Maryland. And um, I'll explain more as we get in further in the video about the story behind this fan and how I got it and everything. But um, let me turn the light on here. And there's the light on. I believe these are four 40 watt incandescent light bulbs. They could be 60, I'm not really sure. But let's get a close up. There's a tag. All right, now let's start it up on low. I'm gonna leave the light on. So the story behind this fan is quite interesting. Let me get a better angle there. So the story behind this fan is quite interesting. Uh, basically what was happening was, I was taking a little, vacation trip thing uh, down in Virginia for the Easter holiday. So I was on Facebook Marketplace looking around there and I spotted this fan on the way down there on Facebook Marketplace. It was advertised. There was like a couple listings for this fan. One of them was like $400. The other one was $200. And the one that I located this fan on was originally 200, but they brought it down to 50. So I got lucky enough. Now, how I got this fan in my possession is pretty wild. So I contacted the seller. They said they still had it. The description of the listing said that you were responsible for removing, but, um, this person said they were out of town. And there were a number of collectors that went after this fan. At least six, I want to say, based on how the listing looked. It said saved by six other people. So I can only assume, like... I know there were other collectors after it, but... At least six. And, um... They said, well, you have to wait until the 27th. And it was like the 12th when we were going down there and that was really the only day I could stop to pick this fan up and basically 
they were telling me, uh, then, you know, you can't have it. Someone else has to get it when I'm home. And an idea sprouted in my head to, uh, like, I, I gave up on it at first because I had, I, I was felt like I was stuck. But then I had an idea about 12 hours or so after I texted them and gave up. And I was like, well, what if I can convince them? So what happened was I, I contacted them again and I texted them and I asked them, could you get a family member or a friend to put this fan out and just leave it outside, cover it with something and I can come pick it up and I can pay through PayPal or whatever, which I did. They had a friend that lived about 45 minutes away from them, them being the house this fan was at. And basically they put it out, they covered it with a little uh, bed sheet thing one of those things with elastic and um it was pouring rain so it soaked right through and this fan got all wet but nothing bad happened to this fan i mean i paid them through paypal i they asked for a hundred though because half the money was going to this friend since they were doing all that work and um half the money went to the seller now before i say any more let me turn this fan up to medium Now, what was going on was I ended up picking it up. I dried it right away. Like I brought it into the car and got a bunch of paper towels and was like drying whatever I can off of it. The old flywheel was just completely warped. It, it looked like a spider pretty much. I mean, it literally looked like a spider. I mean, it was drooping down. It was rock solid. It was cracked. It was like right on the verge of breaking and um the k4s light on there was all loose some of the light sockets were dangling by the wires but you know i fixed that all up put a new flywheel on here both pull chains were, were messed up too and what I mean by that is the little nut that threads on to the chain, pull chain switch was uh, completely broken off. The little threads were, that plastic part broke off of the light kit pull chain, um, which is that chain you see on the left there. And the right hand side pull chain switch, which is a three speed control, like the nut was on there and it was threaded on just fine, but I don't know what on earth this person did to the fan, but it was completely just grinded down. Like you take the front of the pull chain nut fob thing and it was just, it looked like someone took a, a sander to it and just sanded it down in that part. I didn't understand. So that was ruined. So when I was taking this fan apart, I accidentally damaged the three speed control inside. So I had to replace it. Um, I'm going to see if I can fix that, but this one is using a, a three-speed control inside from a newer Panama, but, um, that's basically that. Bearings hiss a little bit. Um, when I got this fan, here, let me turn up the high speed first. Basically, when I got this fan, it was fully assembled outside this person's house. They had no porch, so it was out in the open. And um, when I ended up getting it, it had all its blades on and, and the glass was still on the light kit. And it was resting on top of this glass, but by some miracle, the glass just never broke. I mean, it survived, it didn't crack, it didn't chip, nothing. And that, that was pretty much a miracle in itself. Came with five blades, but I only have four here. I'll probably do another video with all five.
It was pretty fast on high speed. Low was like an aesthetic low, medium is like an average medium, and it pretty much flies on high. Let's get another close up. Alright, let's shut it off, let it do spin down here. So basically on the same trip I took, on the way home, I stopped at a Habitat and I found a new one box, Antique Brass Panama, that was newer, with the three speed and everything. And I just parted that one out, and this is what that, the flywheel that's on this fan now is what that's from. And also this three-speed control is the same thing, it's also from that same fan that I parted out. In my opinion, this fan is absolutely gorgeous. This is one of my favorite combinations, especially with the rosewood cane blades, and I love that glass too. But um, that concludes the video for this Casablanca Delta II with rosewood cane blades.